today we're going to review the well putt start mat this is their entry level mat it uh, provides three different holes the neat thing is and i'll show you here in a minute the shorter putts have a smaller hole uh, diameter wise versus the longer putts this mat's about uh, 10 feet long overall but the three primary targets are three five and eight feet the nice thing i like about it is right the spot where you're supposed to place your ball there's a nice line puppy square up your face there's a line going directly to the hole these are all great things on those short putts to help you with your alignment make sure you're, you're pointing the putter face where it needs to go um, the reason i'm doing a review on this is I, I know a lot of guys are always asking for advice uh input on what a good mat is i picked up the uh well putt mat knowing that there's been a lot of good uh, information out there and I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised. It rolls very quickly for being a mat. And the nice thing I really like about it is the base of the mat has a good uh, rubbery uh, foundation to it. So it lays totally flat, any imperfections in the floor, uh, such as like, let's say you have a, a little bump in a, a hardwood floor, it levels that out really well and takes it out of play. Obviously, if your room slopes, the putt's gonna break with the uh, slope. Um, but overall, it's a great quality mat, and I'll show you here in a, in a second the different size of the targets. So you can see this is where we start out. Um, they've got the nice, obvious little ball mark there. Nice thing I like is the line that's perpendicular to the intended line. They have the lines and the arrows that go all the way down. Uh, neat little thing they have down here at the three-foot mark is a um, bad zone, so obviously you left it short, and then they have a good zone if you happen to miss. If you can look, I'll try to get this as best as I can. You can clearly see that this regulation cup is far bigger than the three foot uh, target, which is good because from three feet, you gotta aim small because you shouldn't be missing too many three footers. Moving down now to, they actually call it the 5.57. So this is a, I believe an Australian company and they're doing things in, in meters and centimeters. Obviously here in the US, we do things by inches and feet. So again, at your five and a half foot mark, you can see the regulation cup is definitely much larger than the uh, five and a half foot putt there. Again, with the bad zone down here and the uh, good zone for as far as your speed's concerned. Moving on to the uh, end here, they've got what they call a five, or excuse me, a 7.8 foot putt. And this is really interesting here. Um, Again, it is a smaller diameter than the regulation cup is. If I was to put this smack dab as best as I can on top of that, you can still see the orange outline. That's not technically a hold putt. So if you're using this mat, it could give you a false sense of security because that orange line or circle, I should say, is a greater diameter than the hole. So you want to be hitting it definitely in the, what looks to be a, a, a cup down there. A uh, neat thing though is you can, you have this extra, I'll call an extra target down here, the uh, well putt logo. And again, that's slightly bigger than the diameter of the um, regulation cup. And, um, but it gives you the extra target probably around that eight foot mark, give or take. All right, guys, I've been using this mat for a few days now, and uh, I really like how it really assures you that you got the, the face line with the hole. So here, this is the uh, five and a half foot putt, and all we're going to do is just try to make it into that slightly smaller than regulation size hole. Again, if it just hits the orange, it is not a made putt. All right, that was a good one. Again, this is really good because I've had an issue with uh, aligning the club face when it comes to the putter. So here we're going to hit the uh, 7.8 foot putt. And I pulled it, might have gone in, definitely hit a little too far. Another three foot, which would be extremely embarrassing if I missed this. Actually hit one. Well guys, in closing, I just want you to know this is a great put, uh, putting mat, very good quality. 
There's a lot of neat features on it, like the reduced size holes, the uh, good underlayment that it has so it stays flat and you don't have the imperfections in your uh, floor messing with things. I'm using it on basically a carpet right now. It rolls great. Um, I've used it on hardwood and uh, there's no difference between the, the surfaces and how the, the mat reacts. It's very thin, so there's not a stance issue that I'm finding with uh, the mat being above me because it's paper thin, but it's got a nice quality rubber coating on the back of it. It doesn't move around. Um, you might ask why in the world, if I've got my own putting green uh, in my garage here, why get something like this? Well, I don't want to mark up my, my putting green with lines and stuff when I want to work on stuff. So I can go ahead and putt because the lines are already on here um, and it helps me line up my face. I know that they're square. It's not me doing it and then I screw it up somehow because I'm not exactly Mr. Handyman. Um, the other great thing is I plan on actually putting this into the house uh, near the bed and then before bed, 10-15 minutes of uh, putting. Definitely help the game out during the winter months, which we're in right now. It's December in Michigan, so there's not a lot of golf going on. So if you're in the market for a putting mat, these are reasonable. Uh, I believe they're around $80, $90 for this one. And they make a different variety and well put of different lengths of uh, mats and different widths. I know they have a 18-footer that's only, I believe, a foot and a half uh, wide. So it's very long but very narrow. And it allows you to hit... 18 footers right there in your, your living room, kitchen, or wherever you're going to put it. They've got a 16 footer uh, also available that's about four feet wide. So they got a lot of options depending on what you're looking at, and they're not terribly expensive. Um, those higher end ones, like the 18 footer, I believe is the $190 range. And then the 16 footer, because it's wider, um, I believe that's right around the $300 range. So no matter what your uh, price point is, there's definitely something out there from Well Putt. And I'm pretty impressed with the quality. Um, a lot of mats you buy, they roll crummy, they bunch up, they don't roll flat, and uh, they just don't hold the test of time, and they don't give you a true putt. So again, well putt. This is the start mat. This is their entry level. Um, I wanted something with lines on for short putts, and it's doing great. It's going to be a nice addition to my practice routine. Uh, Wellputt.com, I believe, is the website if you're interested. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the review, and stay tuned for the next one.